painting party. This ain't your daddy's painting class. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mary Houlihan. La 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 la, just painting. <laughs> yeah, baby, there's something about Mary. This ain't your daddy's painting class. Yeah, baby, there's something about Mary. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, I could see you. There's not even paint on this thing. There's not even paint on this thing. You should have seen your faces. You guys were like, is she painting? <laughs> Well, welcome to Mary Fullahan's painting party. It's the only show where you get to paint a dog that looks like that. Yeah, I'm working on this pretty cool painting of a dog. Uh, you know, I got the dog section put in pretty good. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna put in flowers because um, the picture that I'm working off of, the dog has flowers in front of his nose because he's smelling the flowers. So yeah, that's basically, what I'm, um, that's basically, you know, what's going on. <laughs> what's up? How, how is everybody? Hello. Hi. First, second. Party, party, party. Right? Get a, get a load of this. Get a load. Come on. Come on. I didn't make this one. But pretty good, huh? Well, now, what is her name? What is her name? The woman who painted this tiny happy. I can't think of her name right now, but she is an author. And she authored the book, The Particulars of Peter. And she made a little painting with happy. The dog is about... The book is about her dog, friendship with the dog, that sort of thing. Give it a whirl. I believe that's Kelly Connaboy. Kelly Connaboy, of course. And she's also a writer at, um, oh, what's it called? Gawker. Well, Forrest, bring out my guest already. The people are itching for him. This is my glitter painting. Patrick, Patrick, we're live. We're live. Uh, uh. <laughs> I was making this painting and you caught me in the middle of it. Oh my goodness. That's crazy because that yeah. happened to me earlier. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Well, what's that other screen up there? What is that? What, what is that? Well, is that? Uh, it's so weird because today, today I believe we are painting the theme glitter oh, we, were painting. we are we are sharing our artwork um with the hashtag mary painting party all, all of our glitter inspired art uh, but you don't normally have another screen with like well, arena well and... no because the show is about painting, painting. it's yeah. a painting show obviously yeah that's why we're here <laughs> forest take us to the gamers den <laughs> The Gamer's Den. Oh my god, we are like totally pranking everyone all day everyone's like they're working on a painting you got pranked you guys got so pranked just you guys now. are dumb oh look at this okay look at this i'm in the spectator stand patrick in the spectator stands may may over here i'm with me over here how how do it work <laughs> i think we go in we move ourselves into the ring mm. Ooh. Smash! What smash, boo? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait no! I... Wait, no. I don't want to be random. 
I don't want to be random either. Wait. <laughs> how do we? How do we do this? Okay. Wait. No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with the that being random. I think you in the lower right where it's where there's Mario. If you want to play as Mario, oh, that's fighter. Where you... change fighter. It says. Yeah. Okay. No. Here's the, <laughs> Here's the problem: is that Mary and I were going to go for the same character. Well, that's why we can be different colors, of course. Okay. I'll do blue Kirby. I'll be pink Kirby. Woo! I'm ready to fight. Him. Let's move that bad boy in there. You got hit. Yeah. Ready to fight. And then you got to pop yourself in that little arena. Oh my god. This is huge. Okay. Ready? Ah! <laughs> yes. Now, should we tell people what we were gonna do? I forget what... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> we wanted to do a... Uh, we were going to do a, an hour-long match. Right! Mary, yes. you moved yourself out. I didn't mean to. Okay. Ready to fight. You got press A. There we go. We were going to do an hour-long match, and then they wouldn't let us. Yeah. Apparently, you can only do 10-minute matches. That's the longest you can do. Imagine your guys' faces if we were doing a 45-minute match. You guys would be like... What? Oh, I haven't played this in a while. Sort of Star Wars. Wait, it's shit. just. Oh no, it's just us. Yeah. <laughs> we were gonna have. Uh, oh wait, no, you're right. We were supposed to have. We computer, wanted to guys. have. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, oh, Kirby sucks. Mary's so better bad. at this than me. Oh, shit, shit. Can I swear on this, Mary? No! Babies are watching! <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. You can curse. Okay. Uh-oh. No! Thanks for you, doesn't it? I can't believe I got kicked off by a little thing. Um... No! Shoot! 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 No. Patrick. Bye-bye. Patrick, you can't do that. Well, I can do whatever I want, Mary. That's the thing. No, I'm supposed to be beating you the whole time. Is that, is that it's my show. <laughs> it's Mary's painting party, but it's Patrick's Are smash party. There's some BS. I'm going to call something Patrick's smash party. That's fun. Nice. Fuck you! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm small? That's what you get. No, that's not fair, you have to admit. Do people like this? Is this what Twitch is? Yeah, of course they like it. It's action packed too. Are you kidding me? Dead twice? That oh, one should have count off. because I was small. Oh, oh that was me. Oh, shoot. Let me put you in a pot or something. Okay. Lena 316 in the chat suggested that Patrick's smash party should be the theme of your house warming in LA. Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Thank you, Forrest, for keeping an eye on the chat. You're welcome. Now, now I bought this game at uh, the beginning of the pandemic to play with friends from Connecticut, my high school friends. Uh -huh. And I believe we played it once, and then we never played it again. Do you play uh, multiplayer stuff? Um, sometimes I have Mario Party. I've gotten I've gotten Mario real in the Fortnite. That's been my thing. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm actually like pretty good at Fortnite. <laughs> and. Very bad at Fortnite. I'm I'm weirdly good at it, and I don't know why. Twice. Killed my own dang self. 
This is a mess. This is a mess. That's what happens when you lie to people. Turns into a mess. Sometimes I play uh, Super Nintendo games. Yeah. I really like Switch. What's your favorite Switch game? Q. Huh? Good Q. Uh, gosh. Honestly, Hit Cross. Okay. Hit Cross. Yeah. Yeah. I never got it. I never played it. Well, there's still time. Is there? I feel like it's done. No. No? Nah, it's not done. We played it last week on the show. Yeah. Everyone loved it. They were like, wow, fill in that square. But does it feel like that I missed my chance to play it, you know? No. Interesting. It's kind of a grown-up game. Like Shadoku or something. So if anything, I think you're probably more ready to play it now than you ever have been. Okay. Did you play so Breath you of the Wild? Been. Do you like Breath of the Wild? Never played it, boo. Wow. And I, you know, I of course love Animal Crossing, but no, you know, I know. I got, very I got that. I got the Animal Crossing fatigue. You sure. know what I mean? No, I know. That's why I never got it because I felt like people got fatigue. I have no reason to live in Animal Crossing. Uh huh. You play that, right? I play what? Mario Odyssey. I did, yeah. I played it. Is it good? What? Am I good? Is it good? Is oh, it yeah, good? it's great. I played it when it first came out. It's a Hendo Bendo said it's one of the best Switch games. I, it is. It for sure is. But it's also one of those games that, like, once you play it, like, I don't really feel the urge to go back to it, you know? Okay. Not even to get all the stars or whatever. Well, I got the um, I got the when they put out like uh, sixty four and sunshine and all those. They like re re uh, put it on for Switch. I've been playing those. I don't like Mario sixty four. Me neither. I think it's really hard, and especially on the emulator version that they put. I think it's really tough. I uh. I like Galaxy. I think I just assumed that I won't like any new Mario games, like Mario platform games. I think you but should try Odyssey. Yeah. I bet you'd like Odyssey. Yeah. Because I don't really like 64 too much. And honestly, it's it's because of the polygons. It's yeah. Because of the polygons yeah. and the camera angles. Yeah. And I'm like, this is ugly and I don't like looking at this. It's really hard. And, you know, you can't, you can't take the SNES out of the SNES girl. Uh huh. But here she is on Switch, so. It's true. Well, you know, this is fighting game, baby. I can not go play the star. Oh, I threw the star. I shouldn't be able to get hurt by it. You should be allowed to get hurt. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Patrick, did you do anything cool this past week? Did I do anything cool? Um, Wait, when are you... Are, you're not moving tomorrow. No, I'm going to Detroit tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> we have a George Lucas talk show in Detroit. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I knew that. What did I do this week? I didn't do that much this week. I, uh... I was busy. I had a lot of work. I, uh... I feel like I saw a movie, but I can't remember. Oh, I saw Clerks 3, Mary. Oh, where'd you watch? I saw Clerks 3 at the... Regal Astoria. Wow. Um, yeah. Speaking of Jersey. 
How was the audience? How many people you got in the audience? I probably had 40 people in the audience. Oh. Which is like pretty good. Yeah. That's um, very <laughs> it uh, it was very fun. The audience liked it. The movie's exactly what you think it's gonna be, you know. Um, the audience was going freaking nuts for it. You know, I saw a Snoochie Gucci poster the other day in really? the store that I go to. Uh-huh. And I was like, That's weird. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it was fun. I had a good time. I was happy I saw it. Here's the thing, though. It It is only playing, uh, it's a fathom event at movie theaters. Oh, so goodness. that doesn't like count. Opera or something. Yeah, it's just like the opera. But that <laughs> doesn't count on my Regal Unlimited. My, my uh, you know, thing where I get free movie tickets. So I had to say that I was going to another movie. And I lied to get lied? it. Lied? I lied. I said I, was not going, okay. I said I was going to see a movie called The Invitation, which I don't even know what that is. It's horror, I think. I think so. <laughs> um, and then I just had to hope that no one would sit in the seat that I picked. So I sat up front. Wow. That's I mean, my new thing. My new thing 40 like, people in the audience, you know, that's pretty dicey. I know. My new thing is that I sit in the first three rows of the movie. Too much. That's mm-hmm. what I used to do when I was a child. Yeah. Yeah. I can make my daddy sit in the front row. Yeah. Uh, oh, I won. Look at that. Blue Kirby was supposed to win. Look at that. It's bullshit. You me? Should we play different characters? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, before you do different characters, we do have some viewer art that we receive. Whoa. My new hat is here. Yeah, oh. this is uh, Butts art of Patrick wearing a Mariah Carey glitter hat and an LA bound t shirt. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Mm- Malia can't be here, but they made this glittery disco oh, ball. So Whoa. Nice. That's a good one. And I made the glitteriest Star Wars thing I could oh think of, gosh. Snoke's robe. <laughs> oh wow. Glitterific. That's a good one. Wow. Wow. I'm going to be a different color, Kirby. Maybe let's figure out how to add some. I'll switch character. Hang on. Kirby. I'll let you be the one, Kirby. Um, Kirby. I'm going to be... There we go. Rules. Uh, change rules. I feel like you should be able to put in... Like, uh, how do we add? Can you add computer characters? I mean, this is a forest question. Forest. <laughs> I am forest. googling it. Uh, it doesn't look like you can add computers in online. Yeah. Wow. Are you kidding me? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is. Bullshit. This is bullshit. Wait a second. Am I aware of Disney Animal Crossing? <laughs> no. I play that. What is this, Lena? That's like something I would be into. I'll play this. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Here it is. It came out September 6th. It's it's a new game. I would say that I've heard that the Switch version isn't very good though. So you might not want to get it. It's only thirty dollars on Switch. Oh, oh, but yes, Pace Magazine has a uh, article where the headline is, uh, maybe don't play Disney Dreamlight Valley on the Switch just yet. Oh, that's funny. Wow. It says it's unplayable. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. <laughs> wow. 
I will. Well, once that's ready, I will absolutely play that. That feels right up Patrick's alley. Yeah, I'm. I'm intrigued. Hmm. You know, Patrick, I'm trying to get more into being a gamer, a professional yeah. gamer. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, can we play? What are we doing? And then we can. I want to hear more about this. Should we? Okay. Um. What uh, what game do you want to get good at? Mm. Try and get my views up. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. what do you think? We're, we're, we're at like what? We're at like seven thousand now. Yeah, we're at a million. That's cool. No, I'm kidding. Um, I know. I'm like I think as if I don't know. I do know that I have three hundred ninety something subscribers on Twitch, but I want to get that up. Too. That's also not bad. Like, I mean, hey, it's good for someone like who's just getting into being a professional gamer. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's good for someone you know who just moved uh, their painting show uh -huh. um, and it's gone to their private Twitch. Uh -huh. But I want to take Twitch gaming seriously. Yeah, you know. I, but I also feel like your 397 is probably more than like 95% of Twitch accounts, you know? No, you're right. I'm, listen, I'm just trying to be realistic, you know? You're right. Just trying to help. So, um. What with all these bombs? I hate this. Bullshit. Patrick, do you see um, a therapist? Uh, I do, but my therapist just uh, left to go do her own thing, so I need to find a new one. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I think, I believe she was, like, changing what her, like, main, you know, no main... No Patrick's allowed. No Patrick's allowed? Yeah, that's... That's her main thing that she's doing? That's her new focus. <laughs> uh -huh. She was good. I I feel like she um, agreed with me too much, you know. Mm. And I was like, that doesn't really help me that much if you're just saying, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. So hopefully I can find something okay. no. that is more helpful. Um. You know, I've been trying to find a good one. Haven't been having too much success. Yeah. Um, as I said on the show in previous weeks, I had started seeing one, and he, you know, he was calling himself a life coach. Yeah. He's not, you know, medically certified. Sure. And I don't know. Uh huh. He was. I feel like he was really trying to direct me into becoming a, a Twitch streamer. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, he was okay, this this game is crazy. <laughs> you did this, I think. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm dying way too much. It's not fair. Um My, so, uh, you know, I think I really, I think I really was hoping more for, uh, you know, uh, a mental health focus. Yeah. But he's really into like, how do we get Maybe. you to be the best Twitch streamer? <laughs> That's like, wild. Mm, it's not exactly. And then also, I feel like he was giving me career yeah. advice. Yeah. And he was like, you have to start, I forget if I said this part last time, he said, you have to start a YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, I have one. <laughs> and he was like, okay, well, you know, hey, let's start let's start putting some videos on there. And then I was like, no, I, I'm a comedian. I have like a thousand subscribers on my YouTube. Yeah. And he was like, huh, okay, all right. Well, you know, let's get you on social media. And I was like, I feel like I'm giving you career advice. Oh, no. 
I told him that I was verified on Insta, and he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, treated me different. <laughs> now, well, here's my question. Did you look him up on social media? No, but I really should. See, I looked mine up, and uh, she was tweeting about how Bill Maher was right about something, and I was like, oh, no. Nice. Oh, no. This is my piece. She, she thinks you're right about stuff. That yeah, I know. Well, what does that say about me, then? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, my my other I guy, I was the guy telling him, yeah, know, well, what's bothering you? And I was like, Well, I guess specifically, I'm you know, I'm working on this book, and yeah. so I'm trying to get a lot of words out, and you know, and you know, I've been going through some stuff the past year, and so. I think it's kind of fun to talk about personal stuff and speak yeah. body and self-effacing, but also really it's taking a toll just thinking about bad sure. shit all the sure. time. And it makes me feel like I don't want to do this, but then I feel like I'm not getting things done, and that makes me feel like shit. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel like I won't deliver on something that I promised. Yeah. Um, and I think he was definitely, this was over the phone. I think he was for sure uh, maybe Googling me while I was talking about that. How long had you seen him? Not long, only a couple of weeks. Huh. I think, I think that's maybe our last one. Yeah. And he was, I just feel like he wasn't interrupting me at all to give sure. advice on that particular thing. Yeah. And so then I like stopped talking for him to say something. And he was like, cool, and what's the book about? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, he's like been doing something else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, gotta ba you gotta bail on that. I know. My guy before, uh, before this woman that I was seeing was, we hit a point where, and this is a thing I'm lucky about, I think he was like, you don't really have much to talk about. And I was at a point where I was like, doing okay. Yeah. And uh, he was like, so why don't you just let me know next time you want to have a, a meeting? <laughs> and then he never reached out to me and I never reached out to him again. And we really just hard to get. <laughs> kind of ghosted each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, okay, well, I think it's better that we <laughs> don't do this again. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was, he was treating you more like a, you know, a client, a client yeah. that's just for fun, not yeah. a client that you want to take home to your mother. Yes. Yes. And not someone you're paying a lot of money. Uh, I also swapped insurances midway through her, and I ended up having to pay her like over a hundred bucks a session. Um, and I was like, "Oh, I just don't want to do that." Yeah. Ooh. 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 Patrick, I'm gonna be by postal. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Starting one. I'm going to be by Coastal Lake and River. Wait, say that again? I'm going to be by Coastal. One yeah, coast will that. Be One coast will be the river. And... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I got excited, and then you took it away from me. Well, you see, Patrick, I'm in love. I'm in love with... Uh, a friend who moved to the woods. Yeah. Uh, he's from the woods originally. I didn't know that. Okay. He still has his apartment in Brooklyn. I met him. When okay. He and he's on a trip for the next couple weeks. Uh huh. He's gonna be hanging out at that Brooklyn apartment. Wow. I'm so excited to see my friends with ease and do fun stuff and walk around. That's fun. I'm excited, Patrick. Uh, that's exciting. 
That you is know how like people they go to the country because they're like, I need a reset, I need yeah. to get away. That's how I feel, but for a city. Sure. Sure. See, I'm just switching cities because I feel that way. You've been tired of New York. I've been tired of New York for a while. Yeah. It's it's come up in our sessions. It has. <laughs> Mary, we have had sessions. <laughs> This is not a lie. Mary and I have had sessions. If you you want a little change, and yeah. you're like, should I try the LA? Yeah. No, we're never. I'm a young man. I'm I'm youngish. I don't know if I'm young anymore. Five, three, Aren't you? <laughs> I'm youngish. Thirty? What are you? Yeah, I'm thirty. Nice. <laughs> 30 Ooh, good question, Alice. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not going to write any other. <laughs> no one needs to hear from me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No one needs to hear anything. From me. Wait. Did I say a red flag thing? It was about your life, your life oh, stream okay. coach, as Sir I've yeah. put it. You bad. I'm gonna change character again. Uh. Um, Ooh. Patrick reached 10 KOs. May May reached 10 KOs. There you go. Let's see. Patrick uh, is the Patrick Kirby is the character I'm best at. So I'm, you know, not Patrick. Not Patrick. Usually I play as Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Tina for clarifying that it was for the, the red flag was for the therapist agreeing with Bob. Uh, I agree. Uh, <laughs> I agree. Love you, Kirby. But yet I kept seeing her. So what does that say about me? I mean. What does that say about me? I mean, I guess if you fired your therapist because of them liking Bill Maher. Yeah. As your friend, I'd probably be like, he's avoiding his problems. Uh huh. Just coming up. With yeah, if my problems are Bill Maher. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played as Samus, so this will be fun. My brother used to play as Samus. Wow. So I don't think I've ever played. What are the Samus games? Uh, Metroid. I don't, no, not Metal Gear Solid. Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime. I've never played a Metroid Prime game. They're cool. Samus is a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, can't, can't say I've ever played a Metroid game. My friend used to like them. I remember that. We, we stand a Samus. Yeah, I love... I gotta say, I love that they're the girl character that looks kind of robot -y and like isn't really... Sure. The sexy looking, you know, she has, she has a lot of gear on. I don't she's know. I need all. I need all, I need all of my video games to be super sexy. So if I was, you know, battling in space or whatever. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I hate this. I I would want to be dressed as famous. You know, I wouldn't want to look like one of these skimpy little, yeah. little meat things. Yeah, meat things. No offense. No Sorry skimpy little things. meat things for Mary. Whoa. Oh, wow. So you hopefully. like Samus. Stop hitting Samus. No. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like playing a Samus. We'll like it. Okay. <laughs> That's me being your parents. Uh -huh. You're gonna like playing Samus. We bought the game. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Did your parents buy you video games when you were a kid? Of course. What? Were they good video games? I was not buying these things, honey. Uh huh? I was not buying games, honey. I guess that makes sense. Child. But, but did they buy you good video games? or did they, I feel like whenever my parents bought me a video game, it was like, 
Rugrats. Uh, you know, Shrek Racers or something <laughs> like that. There was always something where I was like, I'm not going to play this. Those, I loved those games. Because uh, they're really... Like being you know. really hastily made. Yeah, that. yeah. They would yeah. buy us like Wheel of Fortune ninety nine. Oh, we'll buy this because it's uh, ISP. I guess. Yes. And yeah, I feel like I played a lot of video games that were based on Nickelodeon shows Absolutely. that were like unplayable. Yes. No. No. Yeah. We played a lot of old. You guys, I just want everyone to know that Opus Moreshi from the Colbert Report is playing Mario Golf currently. Ooh. Got a little notification about that. Nice. Everyone tweet Opus and ask him how Switch is going. How his Switch game's going. Oh no, I was watching Kirby. Shit. I wasn't watching Samus. I thought I was playing as Kirby. I could blame you. And I was like, why is it why am I not doing anything? Kirby's easy on the eyes. Up there. Oh, I hate this. You're gonna win this one. You don't know that. I, I don't know, know that. that. <laughs> I do know that. Ha ha. Now that you've said I'm going to win it, that, that'll put me at a disadvantage. Oh, I hit that chicken. <laughs> You reading anything, Patrick? Uh, am I reading anything? I'm right now. I'm reading uh, a book about producer Howard Kazanjian. Uh, what did he produce? It's a. It, what did he produce? He did uh, a lot of the Indiana Jones movies. Yeah. He did some Alfred Hitchcock stuff. He did uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. He did I don't know a bunch of stuff. Is he Armenian? I don't know. Does that name sound Armenian? Sound is Armenian to me. I don't know what he is. It doesn't really cover his early life. It's kind of only like his work. Oh, interesting. Um, I just started that. I only really like. Uh, I only really read nonfiction. Mm -hmm. And it's truly mostly like Hollywood-based stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. I just got a book, though. I'm probably going to bring this on the plane because that other books take to bring on the plane about uh, Native Americans in comedy. Oh, okay. History of Native American comedy stuff. Um, it's by this guy Cliff Nesteroff, who's like really good at writing about like old like comedy. comedy history. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. I really like his other book, the comedian's book. Um, I've, I've been struggling to get into those books for a while. Yeah. Reading, and then I just can't get into it. But what, you know what? I what, think have you, I, what have you tried to read lately? I think I've fallen in love with a book. Yeah. I've been reading this book. And I, I stopped reading it. And I'm like, I gotta know what happens next. Yeah. Sure. So, I get that. I think it, things are looking pretty serious between me and this book. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think what I just finished. I feel like I just finished something. Wait, don't hit me for a second. I'll tell you what I just finished. Okay. <laughs> I just finished. Uh... Oh, I just finished uh, the, the Pam Greer memoir. Oh, cool. That was good. I read that in like a day because I had to the crash truck outside. Uh, Spaceship. I was in Connecticut and I had to uh, wait somewhere outside for a while and I brought this book and I read it in like a day. Nice. 
The book I'm reading, it's called You Can't Win. Uh huh. Is it true? It's true. You can't. That's sad. And it's a memoir. Uh huh. Of a guy who lived. Hobo style. Okay. Depression era. Okay. And you know, he's still still in his teen years, and I'm like, what is he gonna do next? Uh-huh. <laughs> Die. No. Die. I've always wondered when uh, people are doing video games on here, oh, so they're not talking a lot. Why aren't they talking while they're playing? And it's because it's hard. <laughs> it's because it's hard to talk and play. You know, I'm I'm trying to get into the Twitch gamer stream yeah. file. And so I you know, I've been sort of looking closer at okay, what are these guys doing? And I think last week when I was playing Tetris Effect and Pit Cross, yeah. you know, I was feeling not in a bad way at all, but yeah. I did feel like all right, like keep keep being funny. Uh, sure. Sure. No, that type of thing. Um, I realized multiple times tonight that I've like started a sentence and realized I'm not paying attention to the sentence I'm saying. Yeah, I I've been forgetting sentences and then yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> huh. Um but then I was watching someone stream today who's the uh, who's good at being an elite streamer and yeah. they were like watering plants <laughs> and like uh -huh. yeah, going for periods without talking and like a lot of people were watching and I was like I guess this is just kind of the medium sure Woo! finally yeah I don't I don't like playing Santa's Good job. <laughs> Speaking of people doing a good job, we Ooh. have some viewer art. Oh my god! Okay. Wow. Nice. This is yeah. from Slappy Phil. Slappy Phil. That looks like um, Shrek using the iBook laptop photo booth. Uh huh. The symmetrical thing. I did not realize Rocky and Bullwinkle had a Super Nintendo game. I saw some good uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle merch wow, the other day wow. in this junk store that I like to go to called Wow, That's Unusual. And, uh, you know, it's like a thrift store, junk store, uh -huh. uh, a lot of kitsch novelty things. And they had Rocky and Bullwinkle dolls, Rocky, Bullwinkle, Boris, and Natasha. And okay. I was I was holding it and like, should I? Wow. Should I? Should Did you? I? No. Mm. Do I regret it? No. Mm -hmm. I I wouldn't fully regret it. I wouldn't mind having some Rocky and Bullwinkle in my home. Yeah. You could have done it. You still can. Scandals. That is the store's name. You could go back and do it still. Totally. I, I very much doubt anyone who bought it. Yeah. Um, it was very specific. Now, now this level's from Breath of the Wild, Mary. Really? But you don't know that. I don't know that. You're a fool. Uh, what is Oh, 
dying already? I hope not. A little early to be dying. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alice is here. Such a gamer. Alice, is that sarcastic or is that real? I think she means it. You are good. Alice, come say that to my face. I know you're. <laughs> say it to my face. Well, you can because Alice is coming to New York. I'm on the stream. I, I was being sincere, Pat. <laughs> you know your stuff. I'm, I'm just surprised. Oh, that's great. I uh, yeah, I play more video games, I think, than people would realize. I play a decent amount. I remember you games? saying that you were streaming stuff for a George Lucas talk show on your Xbox, which I think clued me in. But oh yeah, that's true. No, I have a I have a Switch. I have an Xbox One. I have a PS4. Wow. Hey, boy. I don't really play my PS4 that much. Um, and I mostly use Xbox for, uh, for like streaming stuff at this point. Uh, but I, I play my Switch a lot. I love I guess I, I use Xbox for... I also I like to drive around in Grand Theft Auto. Ooh. I find it very relaxing. Ooh. Wow. Have you done any VR since Bus Spanitals? I have not. I done have, any. and it's scary. I don't like it. Yeah. I, have I don't not. like it. I think it's fucked up to be like blindfolded. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like such a horrible sensation. Like you're blindfolded and the whole world turns into Mario 64. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did a VR thing at, uh, it was at Madame Tussauds. That's really funny. And it was for Ghostbusters Answer the Call, the Lady Ghostbusters movie. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you're like in a room uh, being Ghostbusters, and they had like things built in the room. But like if you were going through shit, if you were going through uh, uh, like a door frame or something, there would actually be a door frame there that you would open. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was truly so weird, uh, and I didn't like it. Wow, look at this. This is like me, that guy over there painting all the painting. He looks just like you. That is exactly like me. <laughs> huh. Like looking in a dang mirror. Yeah. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oy, oy. Good luck. You're gonna bump right into that guy. I don't wanna. Boom. Boom. Knocked you right into it. Patrick, it is almost 10 p.m. FYI. Yes. I know you have, you have your big flight to Detroit tomorrow. I gotta wake up in like six hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this will probably be my last round. Play hit cross. There you go. Painting party after dark. Pick yeah, up. you should keep playing if you want to play, though. You can play freak games when you're not around. Uh-huh. 
I, when, when you asked me to do this, I said, you can't play any freak games while I'm here. I'm, I'm never coming on the show ever again if you do anything freaky. <laughs> no freaky stuff. Don't you dare. Oh, I remember what I did. I had my big karaoke night this week. Oh yeah, I saw your I saw your Instagram things about that. How was it? How did it go? Um Well, did you see my close friends? I did, I did, but I wasn't gonna say stuff that you <laughs> Okay, so yeah. listen up, guys. I just want to start the story by saying the woman who owns the venue where we posted it, she has a reputation for being weird. Uh, uh, maybe a little bit difficult. Yeah. But kind of just like weird. Not like mean difficult, just sort of like talking to this lady is strange. Yes. Yeah. And so we uh, we hosted our karaoke and uh, it went really well. There were like a lot of families and like kids, you know, like clearly in their seats, like, like working up the nerve to sing. Mm -hmm. Thing and the parents had filmed them and you know we were being really good hosts and hype people and you know let's give it up for Aaron yeah whoa have you ever seen an eight-year-old sing like that I sure mm -hmm. have you know we're just being real charming we made a bunch of tips everyone was happy and uh there were some grown-ups who sang there was this lady, she did. She sang a bunch of songs, and she came up to us, and she was like, "I love karaoke. It's just like one of my things I used to do before COVID. It's so important to me, and I haven't been able to do it." And so we felt really um, good about ourselves. <laughs> yeah. And so. <laughs> yeah, I get that. So you know, the lady who owns the venue, she's given us money, and she says. She says, that was so good. Wow. And it was a good turnout, too. Oh, that, yeah, we should really do that again. Yeah, yeah. And we were like, okay, awesome. Yeah. And then she says, I just, I just have a couple suggestions. I just have a couple suggestions. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. And I knew it was going to be something annoying, but I had no idea it was going to be this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Her suggestion was the, the singing. The, it didn't sound very good. <laughs> she was, the tone that she was saying it in uh-huh cannot be described in text because she didn't think that she was being rude or saying anything odd at all sure and so she was just very matter-of-factly like did you guys mean to sing that? <laughs> and um i was kind of taken aback and trying to get on her level mentally. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, uh, you know, um, we're comedians and we, uh, we host comedy shows. Uh -huh. We're not musicians. Yeah. So yeah, that's not really what we're going for. We just want, you know, the create like a fun vibe you want it to be like a fun night uh-huh so i mean if you wanted you know the you know broadway kind of singers yeah that's your preference you know maybe we're not yeah but, you no know, this is more in our house and she was like okay okay well yeah you know 
I still think I like this. <laughs> oh gosh. Could you believe? That's insane. That's crazy. I mean, here's the thing, though. <laughs> it's, it's silly, and you should do it again. Like, you know what I mean? Like, But it just kept popping into my head, like, every day afterwards. Like, I can't believe yeah. that woman said that, yeah. <laughs> said that to us. That's yeah, that's so wild. Crazy. What a crazy thing to say. <laughs> crazy. Handing us money. Handing us a hundred dollars and saying, "By the way, you guys were so bad." I mean, <laughs> I kind of love it. I kind of <laughs> love it. I love it. Buy her a dang jukebox. <laughs> I think she really didn't think she was being. Rude. No, well, pe- a lot of people out there, I feel like, Just don't have off. don't have uh, interpersonal skills. You know. So. Um, yeah. Um, Oh, <laughs> I gotta go to bed, Mary. I like that glitter face. Yeah, this is gonna survive. I like that. Very nice. We got anything else? Is that it? And you know, I mean, like, I don't mean is that it? I mean, like, wow, this is so wow. amazing. Is there anything wow. else to show? No, there's no, there's no additional amazing art. Real dismissive of your fans. Is that it? <laughs> you call that art? Did you mean to do it that way? <laughs> Guys, um, something Mary has not promoted during this is that uh, you should send her money. Oh my send, God. send Forrest money. Send Mary money. Send all these people who are down here asking for money, money. Because they work very hard. And this would be very helpful to give them a few bucks um uh to help uh, you know pay the rent and get them get them through the week and uh it's something um that i'm gonna ask you for uh because maybe they don't want to maybe they don't want to ask it you know they're putting it at the bottom but maybe it's a little weird a little awkward to ask for money i don't give a shit i don't give a shit if i ask you to give them money so go on venmo go on patreon and uh pay up you know uh we're giving you hours of of free entertainment over the years and uh now's the time to put your dang money where your mouth is give a dollar give five dollars give ten dollars give twenty dollars however much you want to give it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's all helpful and it's all nice and it's all friendly and that's it thank you patrick i'm going to sleep well before you go to sleep, do you want to wave at the camera and say bye to everybody? Bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. See you next week. We love you.